Hello and welcome back to Banner Lord. And last time we climbed out of obscurity, basically, and uh, we are now no longer scraping the bottom of the barrel, even though we are still kind of doing that because we are still running around with some very low tier units. But we are now no longer being preyed upon by huge amounts of bandits, and we're actually able to deal out the hurt. And we also gained a huge amount of wonderful weapons known as harpoons. And uh, if you haven't seen that in the previous episode, I'd highly recommend checking it out. It was hilariously fun. Anyway, we are now here speaking to Laska Willowbark, who is actually a companion as far as I'm aware. You know, we women suffer greatly when you warriors have your sport. I lived in a village to the north of here across the gulf. It is a cruel land. There is no strong king and lords think nothing of ravaging their neighbor's lands. My mother was skilled in the use of herbs to treat disease and wounds. I had a happy, peaceful childhood until one day, a month before I was to be married. That was the day my life changed. A band from a nearby village came and attacked us. We had done them no harm. We had never even thought of them as our enemies, but they wanted our cattle. They killed my mother and the youth who I was to marry and burned our village, everything gone. Those who lived fled into the woods. I expect that my kin will soon return to their homes, but I will not. I cannot. I cannot be in a place where I am at the mercy of any beast on the rampage. I will ply my trade among warriors. I will learn to harm as well as to heal. And if the time comes for me to marry, I will live in a land where there is a king, even a tyrant. Rather raise a family amid the war of all against all. All right, I'm happy to accept you into my party. Please don't be too expensive. Aha. What? I already have more companions than I can manage? I, I, wait a minute, do I, do I have a full party? I, I didn't think that was actually possible. So, c c do I actually have a limit to how many companions I can actually take into my party? Because I only have two. That's surely not right. Oh, I actually, I actually do have a maximum of 21. I think. No, yes, I do have a maximum of 21 and I only have 18. So I'm not entirely sure how that works. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm actually kind of uh, a bit disappointed there because I actually thought that she was going to be a medic. I'm pretty sure she was a medic of some kind, which would have been fantastic. But, uh, well, as it stands, if that is not to be, then that is not to be. So let's go and attack these looters instead and see if I can maybe do something about them. Because let's face it, oh no, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna lure me into yeah, as you can see, look at that. That was way too close for my liking. These guys They only have eight infantry, so I should be able to deal with them, but the one cavalry usually is quite strong, and that's the thing that we've gotta bear in mind in Bannerlord. Cavalry is very strong. Obviously in Warband they were very strong too, you know, especially when it comes to Swadians. But in general, spears on horseback, they're going to be very, very powerful indeed. Look at this, the sun, the sun shaft coming through the trees and everything. And then we also have the snow at the same time. Very picturesque indeed. And uh, obviously this snow is going to be covered in blood relatively soon. So it is not going to be as pristine white as it is right now, which is absolutely fine. I don't have a problem with that. I, ah, I, was, I, was, I was trying to throw it. <laughs> yes, okay. There we go. Yes, there we go. Instant kills. Instant... Oh, yeah. I, You know, I've got this weird thing when I aim. And this is why I'm pretty bad at shooters as well, I guess. The fact that I seem to twitch every single time I fire or something. Or every, every single time I throw a weapon or something like that. It usually results in some kind of twitch from me. I'm not entirely sure why that happens. But uh, yeah, there you go. I guess that might be the reason why I'm being a little bit inaccurate most of the time as well. Anyway, we did get 76 gold right there, which is not too bad. We can just take all the loot and everything. And uh, I'm actually going to go over to Balgard. That is the main place that I wanted to go over to. Can I actually get over there? Yes, it seems like I can use this as a bit of a bridge. So that's quite nice. Let's see if I can get a couple more people. Let's uh, recruit some troops. There we go. 
and then we can actually speak to these guys. So these guys are landowners. This is the headman. Let's actually speak to the headman a little bit here because I might like to do a, a task or something for them. Uh, my name is Barney, sir. A lot of the people here in Devrusta, the common farmers and craftsmen like me, they like me to speak for them. All right, I have a quick question. I, what is it? Nothing. Apparently, I don't have anything to ask him. I'm terribly sorry for wasting your time then. Uh, I was actually hoping that I might be able to do a quest for them or something like that, but uh, I expect that there would probably still be an exclamation mark there to indicate that there is actually something available. So unfortunately, there isn't anything available for me. There's nothing available for, for me here either? Now that's weird. I'm actually kind of surprised about that. Okay, so can't take all of these, can only take one. And is there a tournament? <laughs> oh, there is actually a tournament going on here. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, yes. I am going to join the tournament, and let's see how I do. Maybe I will actually do a little bit better than last time. Oh, a closed southern helmet. This might actually be quite good. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna wager... Uh... Uh, do I want to wager anything? Yeah, I wager 100, why not? Alaska Willowbark is in here as well as Kiraslava. There's a Thug as well, and a bunch of others. I think... Oh, we might actually have a good opportunity to win this. We might. All right, I have a bow. I I might be able to use this quite well, because bows in Bannerlord are actually quite accurate, as you can see right there. And they're pretty easy to use as well. Even in these kinds of situations. Hello. Ah, almost died. Where are you? Oh, there. Oh, nice. Oh, a headshot to the mount. Oh, okay. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted. Okay. More damage, please. More damage. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, yeah. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, no. He's dead. This is problematic. Oh, Laska. No, don't do this. No, don't do this. <laughs> oh no, they lead. They lead your target so much better than they used to as well. That is actually kind of hilarious. Okay, let's just leave. I, I don't need to see who wins that. I really don't. Uh, well, it's unfortunate that there's actually no one here for me to do anything with. So I guess I could go into the tavern. Yeah, she she's in the talon. Ta ta talon. She's in the tavern. Laska. Can I actually, can I not, can I not recruit her? I thought I would be able to recruit her. Okay. Thinking again, I already have more companions than I can manage. I guess I need to increase my, uh, my skill. I need to increase my, uh, party skill or whatever it may be. That's probably the case. Okay. Well, unfortunately there's no task for me here, so I will be moving upwards. And who knows, maybe we'll come across some worthy bandits. That would be quite nice. So let's actually just take a quick look at what's currently going on here. So you, as you can see, we almost have 50 renown. We have 20 party size. And I just need to make a little bit more money. And then I will be able to do that. And so hopefully I will run, a, run across a couple of bandits in the area. Aha! Perfect. Hello, looters. Yes, sea raiders can join too. They are not excluded from this party. Ah... Uh, Come on now. Uh, can I actually even catch these guys? 3.7, 3.6. Okay, I guess I'm just going to continue charging at them. And if uh, <laughs> if I get attacked out of nowhere by a bunch of extra looters or something, then so be it. Yorig's army. Oh, Yorig has 228 guys in there. What, a, what an insane individual. All right, so no one else has leveled up either. So we don't even need to worry about that. Now, they're drawing us into a bad territory right here. They're drawing us into territory which I do not want to go into. Probably mountain bandit territory of some kind. And those guys, you don't want to mess with those. They're basically slightly worse sea raiders as far as I can tell. Because every single time I've seen them, they've had cavalry of some kind. And usually if I've gone closer, I think you can, I think you can kind of tell what they have just by their sprite. But maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm imagining things a little bit there. But uh, otherwise, as you can see, we can see where they're coming from as well by holding down Alt. And I'm ready to see what we can do. I am very, very intrigued if I can maybe kill these guys from here. 
Really? Ah, there we go. There's a kill. Yes. Oh, Barney gained a level. Fantastic. Okay, I'm getting shot by by stones. How dare you? That's not very nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, another kill right there. Another one. These harpoons are so fun. They really are so incredibly fun. Oh, headshot. Headshot. Another one. Was that another? No, no, that wasn't another one. I just hit him on the neck. But yeah, that was insane. Ah, <laughs> oh, so fun. The harpoons. Mm. Great. I actually wonder whether there's anything better than the harpoons. There probably is, but I don't know where, obviously. I have no idea about this game. So yeah, we're, we're going to explore it together and see if I can maybe find something even better later down the line. I can't imagine it at the moment, because if you can imagine these things doing so much damage, insanity. All right, so we're in a very bad position here, and I'm very worried about... Look at this! Ragnvad of the Sturgeons has been taken prisoner by Mountain Bandits. I told you, I told you, Mountain Bandits are really, really effective in Bannerlord. They're really, really good. In comparison, Warband, not so much, not so much. They're not, uh, they're not someone that I really give too much stock to. In comparison, Sea Raiders are probably the most lethal. And I think that's probably going to be the same here, but I haven't actually fought any Sea Raiders before here either. So there's also that. So let's see if I can maybe uh, catch these guys. Yeah, that guy's going to catch them first, isn't he? Shall we help Godun's party? He's only got 13. But I would assume that he has some really, really good guys. As you can see, he's running around with Sturgeon horse raiders and so on and so forth. I guess that's all right. Sturgeon? Sturgeon? I've been calling them Sturgio this whole time, but I think it's Sturgio, right? Probably. Yeah, well, you know, these uh, fictional lands, you know, every single time they usually have some uh, some lands or some, some factions that I'm pretty awful at pronouncing, so uh, I'll, I'll just call them Sturgia from now on, I guess. All right, let's see if I can take them out. Yeah, there we go. That is what you get. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, so we did get another point in throwing, which I think is pretty good. My renown is absolutely pitiful, of course, basically pointless. And the loot is also basically pointless. But uh, I saw them first. I saw them first, Godun. So, you know, they're mine, kind of. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so let's actually go over here. Wow, this is... Look at this environment. This environment right now is just crazy. Okay, so let's see if I can go this way. I could fight these looters, actually. Hey, hey, hey. You, you, can, uh, you can gang up with your friends. You can gang up with your... Oh, okay, apparently not. They don't want to gang up with their friends. I guess I will just run them into the uh, run them into the mountains. And hopefully we will not get beset upon by a huge band of mountain bandits. In the exact same place, that is where we were able to catch them. The exact same place as you can see. So let's see if we can... Uh, do something here. You can see that every time I spawn in, if I'm in first person, you can see Barney's hilariously glorious moustache. Isn't that just... <laughs> that just adds to the funniness, you know? Just adds to the, the entertainment value, in my opinion. So, yeah, but obviously that's going to be fixed at some point in the future, I would assume. But uh, it is actually a case of just going into third person and then into first person, so it's not really a big deal. What? How did I how did I miss that? Oh, there, there you go. Okay, yeah. Would you would you mind? No 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. They they can still do massive damage. They can still do massive damage, even if you know, even if you're doing that. Actually, you know what? Can I can I gain more tactics skill by actually doing like shield wall and stuff over and over? Let me actually just try pressing a whole bunch of buttons here. No, that doesn't seem to work. All right. I guess when you're actually in the battle and actually tell people to do things, like give them orders and things, that's probably going to increase your tactic skill as a result of that. But uh, not before, not before, of course. Okay. So we're still pretty good. Let's move on. And I kind of wish this, the fast forward was a little bit quicker. Maybe there, maybe there could be a, 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 a second fast forward button added that was just a little bit faster 
But uh, anyway, let's go over to this town right here. I think, I think, uh, you know, don't don't mark my words on this, but I think I should have enough money. I am very low in HP as well, bear that in mind, so that is a, a bit problematic. We do have a couple of people that have actually leveled up as well, so let's level them up into Sturgeon Warriors and Batanian Clan Warrior, Batanian Wood Runner. We're going to go for Wood Runners because those things are going to turn into insane beasts of archers. Those things are just crazy. Oh, hello. This might be... They're running from me. Mm, I don't really want to fight Sea Raiders right now. I'm really low in HP. I would like to just get past into the town, if at all possible. So hopefully they're not going to gang up on me. No, they didn't. Okay, that's great. Very nice. Okay, so we do have Cargo Master, and we also have another merchant here that we could potentially speak to. What is this? Leave members? Oh, okay. Not entirely sure what's going on with that, but uh, okay. So we can recruit some more people if we want, but I don't actually need to because I haven't lost anyone, and otherwise we can sell some stuff. So let's do that. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. There we are. Nice and nice. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to buy some food. So we've got grain. Let's buy some fish. And let's buy some butter. Let's buy some cheese. And wow, that's that's just completely wiped out all of my money. Great. Fantastic. Excellent. Perfect. <laughs> anyway, army of poachers. Uh, yeah, I'm not actually going to do the army of poachers quest. Or should I? And should I try to rectify it with violence this time around? Maybe I should. Maybe I should, because the only other times that I've done it, it hasn't really given me anything as far as I'm aware. It doesn't really tell me whether I've gained anything in particular. It just tells me that I've gained relation with the person that gave me the quest. So I'm going to see if I can do this. Yangutum. Yangutum. Okay. Yeah, sure. I will kill those poachers for you. I could have sent my men to do that, but I actually wanted to participate in the activity a little bit. I think that would be quite fun. So the first thing that I need to do is rest for some time. All right, so you may think that uh, we're actually in a bit of a different situation here, and that is absolutely true, because you know what? When we were at the town, I got kind of stuck into an infinite crashing loop. And I think it has something to do with some kind of script that is consistently running and basically it's making it so that I cannot progress in any way. So I had to literally restart from a save that was about an hour and a half back or something like that. So I've literally had to try and <laughs> repeat my steps, basically. And uh, hopefully... I have done a decent job, and hopefully that means that we are going to be in a relatively similar position to what we were last time. We're very, very close to reaching Clan Tier 1 as we were last time, so that's really good. And we are now going to charge in. Oh yes, let's do that. And uh, hopefully we'll do alright, and um, hopefully I will not be... There we go. Hopefully I will not be terrible with throwing weapons, because here's the thing. I I'm actually alright. But the thing is, is that usually I'm aiming in such a way so that I literally hit my own units. <laughs> it just happens, you know, it just happens. Anyway, the point is, is that uh, we're going to be absolutely fine with our renown relatively soon. And also our gold, look at that. We're almost at 2,000 gold, which is really nice. Let's just take all of this stuff. And the grain is also very good. So this is actually where we are right now. I was actually on my way to recruit a bunch of uh, Batania units, because what I'm going to do or at least what I want to do, is try and improve our ranged capabilities. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a mixture of Sturgia units and Batania units, and I'm going to see if that actually makes any difference whatsoever. I think it probably will, let's face it. You know, Batania has some of the best archers in the game, if not the best. I'm not, not entirely sure about that. You can't, you can't quite say, you know, yet you know, which enemy, uh, or shall we say, which faction in general actually has good stuff yet, because uh, we haven't really played the game for enough time to really know. 
And uh, that's that's a thing, you know. That's that's a thing that we've definitely got to be uh, a bit aware of. Anyway, uh, mm, no, this this still does not have any uh, still does not have any units. Okay, well that's interesting. Anyway, what I'm also going to do is I will try to look out for some better armor because obviously I know that I don't have very good armor. You know, it's it's a very classic thing, is it not? You know, it's very classic that we don't have anything like that. But I'm just going to continue leveling our guys into some wonderful, wonderful. Warriors, whoa, hello. That is a large army. What? <laughs> that is a large army of bandits right there. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to avoid those. Thank you very much, leaving me, leaving me alone, those guys as well. Definitely don't want to see those. Ooh, Sturgeon Soldier. Oh, yeah. Give me that guy. Thank you very much. All right, yeah, that seems pretty good. And we're also going to get some more green and stuff as well because I kind of... I kind of think it's going to be kind of useful, considering we're increasing. Aha! 12 looters. They might be pretty good for us. Now, bear in mind that I just want to mention something. If you're annoyed at me getting taken prisoner and so on and so forth, if you're annoyed at that, that's absolutely fine. You know, you, you can be annoyed at uh, someone maybe not playing the game as adequately as you might. And that's absolutely fine, because here's the thing. As I said in the very beginning of the series, part one, we're going to savor the journey and we are going to try and be as, uh, shall we say, I'm going to try and show as much as possible of the game because let's face it, do you actually want to see me steamroll everything? Because isn't that, isn't that a little bit boring? I don't know. But anyway, the point is, is that I'm going to show everything no matter whether I die or get taken prisoner or whatever the case may be because I think that that adds more depth to the series. I think it just adds much more fun as well because let's face it, Mountain Blade, it, you know what it's all about? You know what it's all about? It's all about gathering strength. It's all about gathering strength all the way back from being a level zero uh, idiot, idiot, you know, running around the world map and basically being like, oh, yeah, uh, I actually don't have any units. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Ah, uh, it seems like, uh, it seems like we're, we're getting some, uh, oh, no, never mind. Basically just told us that we've got some more people here. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, I actually found, uh, Jin. So I now have her back and, uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's, she's doing pretty well. Also, I did something here. We are... Uh, yeah, I'm actually a surgeon. I, I don't think that actually makes any any sense, does it? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to go for quartermaster for the moment because I think that um, quartermaster increases our party size. Eh, I I'm not entirely sure about that, but I think I've seen that that actually is what it does. And uh, let me actually just take a look at my party size. No, it's actually it's actually still twenty. Hmm. Uh, maybe I need to go for one of the others, but, oh well, never mind. I'm ge I, I guess I'll just uh, leave it for the moment. Ah, can I, come on, ah, uh, yeah. I need some more, I need, I do need some more horses. I do need some more horses. That is a thing that I definitely do need, but unfortunately, you know, me getting taken prisoner and, uh, having some issues with that. Oh, four mountain, ba oh, okay, these, these guys, they probably don't want to fight us. All right, so let's see what we can do, because obviously we do have one enemy on a horse, and we're actually, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to move our guys over there, and we'll see if we can maybe do something with stopping the cavalry from being super effective against us, because he's obviously going to try and circle around us, thinking he does have throwing weapons for the most part. So, yeah, and obviously if we run after him, it's really not going to do much. Nice. Ah, uh, a miss there. Ah, uh, that's also a miss, yeah, of course. Alright, so I'm going to try and do some damage to the enemy coming up to us right here. There we go. There we are. Nice. Okay, so now let's just try and focus on dealing with these guys as best we can. Yes, yes, there we go. There we go. Nice morale damage. See, now that's the point. Bannerlord does put a much bigger stress on morale damage more than Warband did. So you've got to bear that in mind. Look at that hit. Yeah, thrown weapons are fantastic. As we have so far seen, they have literally been... 
I'm not going to say invaluable, but I'm going to say that in general they're, they're very, very good to use. They can kill things so incredibly fast in comparison to uh, a bow, for example. But obviously, bow in Bannerlord is very good too. And I'm not saying that anything is worse than the other. I'm just saying that I very much enjoy throwing weapons. I know a couple of people probably don't, but that is, you know, it's my choice. <laughs> it's my choice. I'm playing the game, so, you know, I'm just going to use what I find fun and uh, obviously that is throwing weapons at this point. Okay, so there you go. We actually did manage to survive and we got some more mountain bandits. Are you serious? You seriously want to fight us with two? I'm very surprised about that, but I think we probably have enough in terms of our renown now to be able to uh, create clan tier one. And I'm hopeful uh, that that is, uh, that is just around the corner. I just need to get a little bit more men and I also need to get uh, some more money, and that's literally it. Oh, they're dead. All right. Yep. <laughs> that's actually kind of amazing. Did you see that? Both of our companions that I gave throwing weapons to, they actually killed those guys because I gave them throwing weapons beforehand. That is really cool. Anyway, there you go. Easy victory. I don't think we'll get too much from it. We're actually going to be, well, we're actually going to be taking these guys prisoner. And they're actually going to sell for quite a bit, I'm pretty sure. So that's going to really help us out in regards to our money situation. So where actually am I right now? So I'm, I'm here. Uh, I guess I could go to Omor again. Yeah, I should probably go to Omor. And we should definitely be very careful about potential crashes. Because crashes are going to be a bit of a thing that I need to look out for, in my opinion. So... I'm going to make decisions based on trying to prevent crashes. That's literally what is going to be happening now, unfortunately. Because obviously it is early access. Sometimes you're going to have these kinds of situations happen. And you just need to, you know, stay away from certain things and, you know, do do other things. Ah, yes. Mm. Now, also, there is actually something else that I want to do. Let me just actually hit reset here. There is a, uh, a reason why I'm not selling the weapons for the moment. I actually want to head into the forge and i'm hopeful that i will be able to show you a little bit about that uh okay let's sell this and there's actually a really cool thing that you can do you can literally mouse over trade rumors so as you can see right here you can mouse over the various items and then it gives you an idea as to how much you can sell these for at different places and there you go there's 468 which is really nice and let's enter the smithy real quick and we can actually do a little bit of smelting. So smelting is actually for weapons. I did not realize this, so my apologies for that. But uh, yeah, this is what you can do with them. So you just do this, and then you have... Ah, I don't have any charcoal. I don't have any charcoal. That is a bit of an unfortunate thing. Uh, because if I had some charcoal, I could smelt this, and then it would turn it into wrought iron, iron, and steel. And I'm not entirely sure what those do, but it looks pretty cool in my opinion, and uh, maybe I can maybe I can try and find some charcoal here. I doubt it personally. I doubt I'm going to be able to find charcoal, but you never know. Camel saddle with heavy load. Hmm, that seems pretty cool. Yeah, that seems pretty nice. Okay, so let's try and find some charcoal here. We've got some iron ore. We've got some. Well, we've got some grain, obviously, but uh, I've got enough. Uh, don't I have enough? Yeah, I have enough grain, and I, I have a decent amount of fish and all that stuff, so it's not too bad. Oh, fish harpoon. Now, that's worse than the regular harpoon, so that's absolutely fine. Yeah, these are these are really fun to use. All right, so what else do we have here? Oh, we've got a wide leaf spear. Might want to think about getting a pole arm at some point, but I'm um, kind, of, kind of enjoying what I currently have going on here. Also, armor. Uh, I think that I do need to get some new armor. But have you seen the armor that is available here? I, I mean, I've looked at armor beforehand. And as you can see, look at this. Northern Lamella Vest gives me 14 body armor. That's that's just not very good, you know. Just It just gives me 14. I mean, it's, it's only 6 increase. So, uh, oh, I could buy this. That's 672 gold, though. And I am just now over the gold threshold. So I'm actually not going to do anything about that. Let's actually take a look at our clan here. Oh, yeah, I should probably also increase. I should probably just play quartermaster or something like that. 
And uh, yeah, this is what we currently have. Oh, so can we now have 45 troops? Yeah, I think so. I think we are actually... Uh, look at that. I can have a, an additional companion. Yes, we are Clan Tier 1, as you can see. That's fantastic. So we have additional party size now as well. So that's really, really good. And that means... I'm actually wondering... If I can, uh, oh yeah, let me see if I can go in. Laska, I think Willow Bark, I think she is a healing companion. I think so. So I'm hopeful that I will be able to recruit her. Okay, so I could use someone like you in my company, 679. Okay, so there you go. So she, she's joined. Now let's see if I can actually do something with her. So I'm going to ransom my prisoners for 143. That's also very nice. And... Let's have a look at her skills. I actually did. Did I level up as well? Yes, I did. So that's actually very nice. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Curious Lava is almost uh, level 14 as well. She's doing fantastically well. And Jin doing pretty good too. And then we have Lise, obviously. She's doing great. And Laska is a medic. Yes, she is. Look at that. She is actually a medic. Fantastic. All right. So she's got decent enough weapon skills. She's got good bow skills and stuff like that. So it's probably a good idea that I look out for some bows and things now that my clan is tier one. I don't really need to worry about my money situation so much. So I should probably go and buy some more armor too. But that's really good. So what I'm going to do is going to go into the party screen here. And I think I can tell them what to be now. So uh, let me actually just have a look. So yeah, clan roll. So Curious Lava is going to be... Uh, I, th I suppose uh, I suppose a quartermaster, and we'll have uh, we'll have Jin be a quartermaster as well. I think this increases party size, but I'm not entirely sure because obviously uh, I don't think they really tell you what they do. So well, we'll see. Anyway, let's do surgeon for Alaska. So that is going to be really nice for us. And let's have a look at our party screen, actually. Yeah, look at that. We can now have 45 troops because of the clan tier bonus of plus 25. So, yeah, that would have helped us out a great deal and definitely would have been something that I should have done a long time ago. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.